an amphitheater for concerts. Really? Yeah. It's really look. Look, I'll show you. Cool, huh? Yeah, it's very cool. I saw this from from the car, and I was I thought like it's a building or something, but I was thinking with this design, I was like, how many percent now? This is the view of the Lake Michigan here. Navy Pier. Navy Pier. Yeah, not Lake Michigan. It's not a Lake Michigan? It's Lake Michigan. And as you can see, I don't know if it's a ferry swell down there. It is. I will show you how tall we are right now. Woo! See those there? We're like, I think... I don't know where we are, but this is really deep. I think we dug this one out or developed this one here. What do you think? I think your filming sucks. It is really, really deep down there. Oh my God, it's scary. It is very scary. And the, the, the tobacco, we were trying to go there. 
But it We're seems gonna, that's that's like that's like five miles. It away. seems very far. I thought that's what we're doing. That's why we're walking. Where, I just wanted to show you where it was. I wasn't, we weren't gonna walk to Navy Pier. <laughs> I thought I we can show it to you. I thought we can walk from the lakeside, or you know. No. <laughs> we can't. You have to walk all the way down that way, and then cut all the way across. It take you. It take you probably about two hours to walk there. Two hours to walk back. That's four hours just to get there. Where is the Mall of America? It's not even in this state. It's in Minnesota, way I up thought north. it's in Chicago. No. So you can see that Ferris wheel there. It's very far. I think we have like carnival going on there, or you know, it's there, just like Mall of Asia by the ocean. Same with the Ferris wheel there. I haven't been there. I have no clue what it is. But it's really visible here. We got some rides going on there. That's really pretty. I just want to show you guys with this one. It's pretty cool. I don't know which park am I right now. But they got flowers. And this place here. It's very cool in here with the wind. There are many mental exercises that could help your recovery. This is very pretty. Super. Oh, okay, it's just by the center here. And they got flowers here. It's very pretty. Amazing view. There are just so many things, so pretty things you can see in here. I thought we are gonna go at Sifu City today, but I think we are not. Cause it's gonna, we're like, Claude said we are from other town, other side of the town. So with the traffic that, you know, heavy traffic here in Chicago, it's gonna be a stressful driving. So we're just gonna come back on the other day to go to Seafood City. I really like to go there. You know, they have um, Jollibee, other Filipino restaurant. Plus, I want to buy a Balikpayan box. Cause in Madison, there's no place where I can buy a Balikpayan box. Oh, I want to buy it from a Filipino, you know, when they go here in Chicago, but I don't know. I asked someone to like, you know, she would buy a box and I would, you know, buy it from her, but she never replied, so I would think it's no. So I've been trying, I've been trying to get a Balik Bayan box for how many years now, since I got here. Anyway, let's get back to the park and you get flowers here. They just have some cool, very, very awesome architecture here. Just no words for it. Just amazing mind. Oh my. <laughs> Those are pretty, pretty puppies, cute ones. Alright, I think this is the end of the park in this one. We got the trail, but I think it's ways away to the lake, to the pier. It says Navy Pier Trail, but it seems to be so far from the lake, so I don't know. The direction says it is, but I don't think so. or you have to do bike path here all right guys they also have their trash here making it clean this park is very clean no trash very clean very peaceful all right guys i see you when we find what we're looking for when we were up there we can hear the tennis playing Excuse me. And here's it is. They have tennis playing here. Lots of people. We can hear it from way up here. 
but it's kind of covered with trees so we weren't able to see them and then when we go down here we saw that they have tennis player here guess where we are now guys we are here by the lakeside I don't know the name but I'll show you that is a Colombia Yacht Club that is huge and they got a lot of boats in here just lots of them so pretty up here oh my god it's pretty and disgusting I don't know if you want to swim on those maybe there you can swim yeah I want to go there are we allowed to I don't know if we're allowed to go here guys well, no sign that it says private property so we're gonna try and look at these flowers here oh my god it's very pretty i want to see all of them in one day but you can't guys this is really a big city very pretty city and this yacht is very very big very we did go once to the Iowa and they got like boat landing there but it's not this as big as this one. And they have boats down there in the water. There's something on the water, it's probably dust or something. I'm kind of hungry. Are you hungry? Does your friend's boat has those with the... He has a big boat, yeah. Yeah, but does he have those? Have Do you call that? The pole? Yeah. Sail? No. Those are sailboats. What is the difference? Woohoo! Very pretty. They got some barrier too in there. Maybe it's the end of it here. They got a pier. And as you can see there, they have like a barrier of some sort. It's a man-made, so they put it there on purpose, I think, for the waves. I don't know where oh, the boat can get out there. No stairs or something here. Lots of birds, too. All right, guys, I think you have enough footage of how it is, looks like. See, from here, you can see the buildings here. That is very, very pretty. Show the skyline here. That's a bird too. It's not pigeons, pigeons. Awesome. We are underneath the Thailand, the road that we just walked. And it seems to be here a uh, bus parking. The buses that aren't being used is parked down here. And there's a lot of them. All right, guys, I see you when we go through the other tunnel. I just want to show you guys this cross bridge here. Look how cool it is. It's really not ordinary. You know, to spend money and make your cross bridge like this. It's made out of stainless steel. Yeah, and it's like very pretty. They really make some effort to do this. It's just for the cross bridge. This is the first time I guess I saw a cross bridge like this. And we were there before the amphitheater. 
so we're back on a track we're kind of we are kind of worried we're gonna get lost <laughs> I'm not lost God said he's not gonna be lost he knows where he's going yeah I'll just follow him <laughs> I'm not really sure where I am right now well I remember that amphitheater but to get to the parking lot I'll just follow him This is still part of the Millennium Park here. Are we gonna go up here? Upstairs. Yeah, then we cut across. Okay. Alright guys, I saw this from the road when we were driving and I really wanna see it and it's kinda of cold in here. bike parking well you can just insert your bike but it's not it's like part of it you have to rent them I don't know how it works you have to have some sort of card that I think you can register I don't know something like that I don't know how it works but they have an application there download the app bbbikes.com
like a walking video, like Philly in the Philippines. Are you still filming? It's a walking video. Oh, okay. I thought you were done. Hey. Look, so you It's better when I use my audio here, that's why you have to tell me. It's like to get, get out of Chicago while the driving's good before rush hour. And we'll, then we can stop, once we get out of here, then we can stop and get something to eat. Maybe go stop at the Oasis and get gas and then we can eat up there. We are in the car now, we're done with our walking. It's really tiring, but it's really fun. We did a lot of walking today. <coughs> so we finished on our passport thing for only like an hour but that, because that was 9 40 when we're done and i just didn't do my passport i did my passport and report of marriage report of marriage is going to be needed on the the world citizenship is part of the requirements it's on our way here you know the day before we go here we were planning of renting a car you know not using our car and go through all this stuff you know but then um, I think it's good anyway. We didn't do that because you have to rent the car for like $30 and then you have to rent it on seven o'clock, like seven to something like that. I forgot. But anyway, we, we did go here like four o'clock, 4 a.m. So if we were gonna rent a car, we have to rent it two days. So that's why we just use the car to drive here. Anyway, it is crazy traffic here in Chicago. I'll show you the map of the roads if I can find one. How crazy the road is. The, I don't know how, what's called the highway that overlaps 
flyover. We call it flyover in the Philippines. We have just a bunch of flyover here, overlapping each other. But yeah, I think it's kind of helped the traffic. Without it, it's gonna be so congested in here. So I just wanna share with you guys that one. And then what Claude did too is he reserved a park, you know, you can do it online. He was, you know, comparing the parking price with the ramps there in Chicago near our place, near the Philippine Consulate. And if you don't do it, you're gonna have, um, he got a deal for doing that, for doing it online. Because I think if you do it on the spot, it's gonna be more expensive. And you know, you won't be able to compare prices. Or you can, but you're gonna have a have hard time trying to find a good deal because of the heavy traffic. So I think that's a good thing if you reserve a parking a day before to go to Chicago. If you go that's the only way to do it. Really? You can Yeah, otherwise you're gonna pay a lot of money. Yeah. Well if they don't know that, you know, if you well, just go to Chicago, I thought you don't have to reserve a parking. You don't have to, but your gear if you reserve it a day ahead of time or what or any time in advance, you're guaranteed a parking spot. Parking spots are hard to find in Chicago. Unlike if we go to Seafood City where it's free parking. Seafood City has its own big parking lot, yeah. But if you're going downtown Chicago Follow the signs for ninety west. You need to you need to reserve parking ahead ahead of time so you'll know where your parking is and you're guaranteed a parking spot. Plus you know where you're going. Right. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be looking around for a parking spot because that would suck. Yeah. Okay guys, I just wanna share with you to be mindful also with your belongings so me because i'm here in a different country i know in the philippines you know i always put my purse in front of me i always being careful of it but when i got here to the united states i get comfortable but tips are everywhere guys so whenever you're in the philippines or in the united states or any other country they are always going to be there so it's always, always to be mindful with your belongings, not to be so comfortable. Here, when I just got here on my first job, I get so comfortable, like we have a locker, you know, but then I just put my purse on top of it, on top of the locker. I never put it inside because I was, ah, this is United States. No one's, you know, interested with stealing stuff, but no. It's just the same in the Philippines. Although Philippines is kind of worse. Because they will get a razor blade or you know, they would get your stuff from your purse without you knowing. It's kind of like they're trained to do that or I don't know. That's how it just in the Philippines is. So it is very known to me that if you are in a public place, you know, just every Filipino is advised or based from the experience from other people to be always careful with their stuff. But here in the USD, I, I have not heard a case where they rip off your purse, you know, use a razor blade to take your wallet from it. So I haven't heard a case like that here. I don't know, maybe I'm not sure about it. But I haven't, so. I would think just, you know, just hold it, it's fine, as long as you hold it. Because if you're not, like when I was in the Starbucks, I was putting it by the table, you know. It's so comfortable, it's so many people, it's so, you know, nice people. You would not think that someone's going to grab it. So, I was being comfortable that time and then Claude told me to hold my belongings. Because if someone snatch it and run, you know, just, it's gonna be too late. Yeah, I had lost a wallet here and it was in my workplace. So, 
right now when I have important stuff, I always lock my locker. I know my co-workers are nice people, but you know, just I, I, I think I lost my wallet in my last work because some we have an invader in our back room. You know, a people a customer go through the back in my wallet. Uh, I mean, my purse is just sitting there, no locks and everything. So, yeah, it's my fault. So we stop by the Culver's and get some food. Yes, we have, uh, we deserve a reward. We've been walking for like four hours. And we have our shakes here. And I'll show you guys at home what we get. What is it called, my, the one that you get me? Culver's. No, the other one. Oh, you got a Reuben. Reuben. I haven't heard about that kind of food. It's like a burger, right? No. So it's Reuben. So it's like a, it's a melt. It's a, like a sandwich melt. So I'll show you guys when we get home because it's in the bag right now. Plus, I have my shakes open here. It is very open, so I have to be careful not to... I don't know why they do it like that, but... That's Culver's. That's their signature. It's yours. They give you two fries. Yeah, you got a plastic. So this is the Abruban. Abruban. Ruben. Ruben. R O B I N. Something like that. It's like a sandwich with. I don't know what's the meat in there. Do you know what's the meat, Claude? So I haven't tried this one and it looks it's like very good. It's a steak. And I got fries because I had a basket. And here's our shake. See as you can see it's like open. So I was very careful in the car. And Claude have his burger and a fries. Okay, we're gonna eat now.